Hello there YouTube family and welcome back to my channel. For those of you that do not know me, I am Gemma and today I am going to be your yoga teacher. During today's practice, we're going to take this wonderful twisty flow together and I quite like uh, twists because for me personally, it offers a sense of release and relief from any tension or any stress that you feel as though you are storing in the body. So if you are ready to take this wonderful twisty flow with me, then roll out your mat and I'll meet you over here. So let's begin today's practice, bringing the legs out straight, remove the flesh from the sitting bones, really root down, flex the toes back towards you. And this wouldn't be yoga if we didn't connect to ourself and the present moment and the breath before we move. So let's place the hands on top of the thighs, drip the shoulders away from the ears and simply just breathe. So, you know, big breaths in through the nose. And for today's practice, we'll sigh out the mouth. And again, big breath in. Release out. And just let the breath return back to its natural rhythm. Maybe during today's practice you choose to use your ujjayi breath, so your yogic breath, as you breathe in through the nose. Keep the lips sealed and push the breath back over the vocal cord out through the nose. And blinking the eyes open. Let's raise both arms all the way up towards the sky. Spread the fingertips. Let's take a big breath in. And as we exhale, straight legs twist to the left. Exhale. Let's take a big breath in. Square the shoulders back to the top of the mat. And then exhale, twist over the other way. We'll do that one more time each side. Inhale, raise both arms up. Exhale, twist. And one more time, big breath in, inhale. Exhale, twist over the other way. Really finding that rotation in your torso. And let's bring both arms all the way up towards the sky, stacking those wrists over the shoulders and pressing the hands into prayer as we come all the way back to center. So let's bring the right knee up and take that foot over. I'm going to take a, a half twist. We'll inhale, left arm up towards the sky. And then exhale, reach for the toes. And then we'll inhale both arms all the way up. And as we exhale, let's turn all the way over to the right as we scoop this left arm underneath the knee and the right hand sweeps back behind us. And if it feels comfortable for you to lift this right palm up from the mat and so you push up and out of your fingertips, by all means you can do that. If you prefer to have your palm completely flat, again that is an option. Keeping this knee close towards the torso, sitting up nice and tall and just enjoying that twist, that sense of release and relief. Wonderful, and we'll square all the way back off to center. We'll give the legs a little shake. And other side. 
So opposite knee comes all the way up. Let's take the foot over. We'll keep hold of the knee if it feels comfortable to do that. Inhale, reach the right arm up. And then exhale, reach for the toes. Don't worry if you can't catch the toes anywhere on the leg. Just allow the hand to land. And then from here, we'll inhale both arms all the way up towards the sky. And as we exhale, we twist to the left. Scoop this right forearm underneath the knee. Allow this back hand to drop. And finding your range of movement here in this twist. And beautiful. Let's square all the way back to centre. Shake both legs out in front. And we'll find tabletop pose. So reaching out for tabletop, stacking the hands underneath the shoulders over knees or as near as about that feels comfortable for you you know everyone's different everyone has you know could have even a more narrow pelvis or a wider pelvis so when I say hips over knees you know you might be a little wider or you might be a little bit more narrow so just find what feels comfortable for you let's take an inhale drop the belly gaze up and then exhale as we push the floor away, round and dome through the upper back. Inhale, drop the belly, nice and soft. And then exhale round, chin to chest, tuck the tailbone. Inhale, drop the belly. The chin lifts away from the chest. And then exhale round, chin to chest. And then from here, just start to soften the belly all the way back down and we'll take the left leg back. So let's stretch the left leg back, press the ball of the foot down. Let's take a nice spinal balance twist here. So inhale, right arm reaches all the way up towards the sky, spread this fingertips. And then exhale, floss this right arm all the way under drop the head down now from here we're going to take a little challenge if you wish to we're going to take a prayer twist we're going to see if we can bring both palms together press into both palms and drive that elbow up towards the sky keep the belly button back towards the spine and remember to breathe And let's exit out of that pose the way we came in. Drop it down, take the opposite leg back, big stretch. And then inhale, arm reaches up towards the sky. Exhale, floss through. And then if it feels comfortable for you to take the twist, we can bring in prayer twist. Take one more big breath in. Exhale, release. Slowly exit out of that pose, finding tabletop. So from tabletop pose, ground down, build your foundation. And then let's gaze over this left shoulder. Maybe you can spot your left heel all the way back behind you. Stay there. Inhale to center, exhale over the other way. And just hang out here. See if you can spot that back heel. Wonderful, and all the way back to center. Okay, flipping the right foot 
out to the right. Let's find modified side plank. Reaching this left arm all the way up towards the sky. And we'll move this into a swan lift, a really beautiful opening for across the chest and a nice stretch for down the quadricep, bringing this left heel in towards the bottom and maybe we can catch the top of the foot. And as we do so, we kick the foot into the hand and we open and expand. Wonderful, and we will slowly release and come all the way back in to tabletop. So from tabletop, opposite foot flips out. Let's find that modified side plank. Just to hold in there. And now let's bring this right heel in towards the bottom. Maybe we can catch the foot. We kick the foot into the hand and we open up. And let's release nice and slow and controlled and flip it back tabletop pose. Okay, so from tabletop, we're gonna trace a line through the center of our posture. So send that right leg back. And with the right foot, let's trace a line all the way down the middle, step the foot through. And you can heel toe the foot a little further out in front if needed. Inhale, raise both arms up. Squeeze through the inner thighs. And as we exhale, belly button draws back. We start to twist to the right, bringing the palms together. Maybe you can hook that elbow to the outer edge of that knee. Elbow peeps right up towards the sky. Squaring back to center, place the hands down, finding tabletop pose. You may just wish to wag the hips, swag the hips from side to side, opposite leg all the way back, press the toes down, build a spring, and then step that left foot all the way through in between the hands. Spread the toes. Spread into all four points within your foot. Squeeze through the inner thighs, raise the arms up. We'll take an inhale. And as we exhale, we turn towards the left this time. Hooking the elbow to the outer part of the knee. Pressing the palms together and driving that elbow up towards the sky. Maybe you can gaze up. Wonderful. And then square off back to the top of the mat. Meeting yourself back into tabletop. Spread the fingers, get ready for your first downward facing dog. Curl the toes, inhale, draw the belly button back and as you exhale, hover the knees and meet yourself all the way back into downward facing dog. Big out breath.
tailbone reaching up towards the sky, chest pushing back towards your thighs. From here, let's bend the knees, look forward, jump, step or float, top of the mat. Let's take an inhale as we lift up, halfway lift, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, as we build the spine all the way up to stand, we press the hands together and we exhale the hands to the heart center. Releasing both arms alongside the body, ready for Utkatasana chair pose. Inhale, bend the knees, drop the hips. And as we exhale, let's twist to the left. And again, you can have a play around with hooking that elbow to the outer part of the knee. Inhale, chair pose, separate the hands. Exhale, chair twist. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, forward fold. Let's take a breath in as we lift up halfway. And then jump, step or float back for Chaturanga. Inhale, roll through, drive the chest forward. And then exhale back, downward facing dog. So we'll work with the right side, inhale right leg up towards the sky and then exhale, step the foot through, so draw a line, spread into that front foot, inhale raise both arms up, so when you are ready really press into that front foot, inhale again. And as you exhale, prayer twist, high lunge this time. And let's begin to look forward. And if you can, place both hands down. And here we're prepping for revolved half moon. So as we start to walk this back leg in, left hand stays down, right arm sweeps, 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 all the way up. And just finding that revolved half moon. Stay nice and strong. Squeezing everything together. Soft landing back into runner's lunge. Take it back into plank pose. Take a breath in. Exhale, lower. Inhale, sweep through. And roll back. work through the other side, left leg sweeps up high to the sky and exhale bring it through. So have a little play around there, just set up, build your foundation, getting ready for a high lunge, squeeze and rise. Moving your body into your twist, your high lunge twist, breathe in. Exhale, twist to the left, prayer twist. Wonderful, square off. Runner's lunge, you know where we're going next. We're gonna take that revolve half moon the other side. So bring this back leg forward. Right hand takes a big step and then we start to rotate. Now, normally 
this looks slightly different for me but if you've been practicing some of my earlier videos you will know that I am waiting for my ACL reconstruction which is happening very soon so this side looks a little different and remembering that that's okay <laughs> and soft landing coming all the way out runners lunge take it back into plank inhale exhale lower inhale roll through and exhale sweep the hips all the way back up towards the sky downward facing dog wonderful let's bring the knees down allow them to kiss the mat and sweep those legs out in front and again you can give them a little shake I'm going to take Navasana so work that core ground your root chakra your sitting bones into the mat arms sweep alongside the body and as we breathe in we lift up as we just start to soften that out breath we lean back keeping a nice straight spine if we can release the feet and hold you can flex the feet some people like to point yogi's choice i can feel my abs working <laughs> Hold in there for three, two, and one. Drop the heels down and then ever so gently let's start to lower down. I'm going to bring both feet out mat width apart as we twist and window wipe. So knees over to the left, knees over to the right. Now this time when we take the knees all the way back over to the left, allow that left foot to stack somewhere on top of the right leg, placing the hands onto the chest. Hold. And knees back up towards the sky, allow the knees to drop over the other way. Stack somewhere on the leg and then all the way back to center we'll keep the hands on the belly and the chest we'll kick both legs out straight <sighs> out breath and just be there and Anywhere in your life that needs that release and relief from any stress, any tension. Use that analogy within your mind that you have squeezed that out through all your twists during today's practice. And by all means, you can stay here in Shavasana as long as you want. The beauty of online yoga, you can turn me off now. You can stay down there for as long as you like. Or you can take a big body stretch with me. Reaching those fingertips back behind you. Point the toes. And when it feels comfortable for you, rocking up into seated. Take it a moment to land. Again, just release and relief. Bringing the hands to prayer or keep the hands to the knees. Honor your practice. And from me to you, thank you so much for moving with me today. If you like the class, please don't forget to like, subscribe, share with your friends. And I should see you on the next one.